Today's project is going to be this awesome do-it-yourself clothing rack. I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step. For this do-it-yourself project, you need a 25-foot rope and a pipe you can get from Home Depot. First thing is to take this 25 feet rope and cut it in half with this rope cutter. It's gonna take a while because it is pretty thick, but be careful because this will, it'll, it'll start fogging up and smoking, so do this either outside or in an area where it doesn't make the smoke alarm go off. This stuff gets really hot. So, can't use it more than a minute because it'll start like fogging up. Dust it off, dust it off. Just like drama, dust it off. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this knot. You take your five foot slack, fold it, and then go about 10 inches down, and bring this to the middle, and then start wrapping it around it. Four times. Two, three, four and then you're gonna tuck it in here. Make sure it's nice and tight. Here are the two finished knots. Um, do the same thing on the other end so you can hang it up on the ceiling. Once it's done, then you can poke the pole into the hole. Put one in, put the other one in, Move the other one to the other side. Now, onwards to the other end. But make sure you measure it. Make sure it's straight. Tighten it. Probably like this. And then measure it. Make sure it's straight. Let's see. So, looks about the same. Lucky me. Lucky me. <laughs> That's because of how pros do it. Pat back. Now, moving on to the heavy duty stuff. You gotta get some anchors. Uh, mine are concrete because my ceiling is concrete. As you can see, if you guys have wood, buy some wood anchors. And get something like this. I got this at Home Depot. You're gonna take this loopy round thing. This is how the rack is gonna be hung from the ceiling, like this. And then the anchors would go into this hole and screwed into the ceiling. So first, grab your rope, put it through here, loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it, and then make the same knot like earlier. Make sure you measure the height of your ceiling. I'm gonna go about 55, since it's my favorite number, five. This is what it should look like. Because I want it to be a little longer, I only wrapped it three times instead of four. So I'm using as much as I can to get the length. But it's really up to you and how long you guys want it. Because my ceilings are really high. You never know how tall or short you are. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. You never know how tall or fun size you are. I'm fun size. <laughs> now it's time to drill this into the ceiling. So secure it first. So both 
both ropes are anchored into the ceiling. It's nice and snug and stable. So right now all I have to do is just put this into the loop and then make sure it's tight so that there's no problems. Here we go. One side and then now the other side. So you can see there's some room here, so I'll probably make it more tight. This completes my do-it-yourself clothing rack, wardrobe hanger. So you can level it by, I guess, hanging. So you know it's nice and secure and can support a lot of weight. Not that I'm heavy, but it's about 100 pounds. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. If you guys like it, thumbs up, please, and subscribe. Yay! So here, testing. Seems like it works. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> Hooray! I'm saving so much money by doing it at home because I, I was gonna buy a clothing um, closet Amori kind of thing, but since I came upon this at the clothing store at the Arts District, I thought it was the coolest thing. So, save so much money and super awesome.